I think we're live. Hey everyone, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for this PlayStation State of Play. It is June 2nd, 2022. We are a couple of minutes away from this event starting. It is almost 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'm stoked. Let's check our volume. Go ahead, we're good there. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. What will we see? It seems like a popular choice online is that Final Fantasy 16 will be here. We know that it's a console exclusive, so Square Enix could show it off. We know that Capcom is going to give us an updated look at Street Fighter 6 sometime this summer. Presumably, that game is coming to PlayStation 5. Whether it's a console exclusive or not, that remains to be seen. But if it's coming to PS5, it has a good chance of being here today. That's personally my hope. Not necessarily that it's a console exclusive. I actually think that Street Fighter as a brand does best when it's played on as many platforms as possible. It also helps with the competition of the gamer and just accelerates the fighting genre. But uh, if Street Fighter 6 shows up today here in gameplay, I'm going to lose it. I thought that the reveal trailer was awesome of Ryu or Ryu if you're old school. So that's my most anticipated game. Metal Gear Solid Remake announced today that it's coming out next year in 2023 for the game's 25th anniversary. That would be huge. Oof. Let's try to stay realistic though. Try not to get too hyped up. But it is half an hour. We will see PlayStation VR. We will see a little bit of Sony's internal studios projects. A little, you know, internal IP. But it's mostly going to be third party. So here we go. Rated pending to them. All right. I'm pretty hyped. 324 2023 I mean Resident Evil 4 remake has been rumored Resident Evil 9 I'm seeing that R Resident Evil. There we go. Four. Show me some footage. Gunder Wonder Roost. I've located Baby Evil. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my god. There's the President's daughter. Hey, that looks good. Let's see. Leon. Get things off me. Guess you, me. Picked the wrong spot to vacation, eh? You will receive our most sacred body. It begins. No. Wow. That's huge. What a way to begin this thing. I love Resident Evil 4. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. That's this time, it can be different. It has to. Looks nice. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. That was already so cool. PlayStation VR 2 content also in development. That's big. 
Wow. Like I was saying, when Resident State Evil 4 of play returns, and we've got some great PlayStation out. updates to share with on you Nintendo today. GameCube in the early 2000s. And thanks to Capcom for kicking it off with Resident Evil 4, coming to PS5 with PlayStation VR 2 content also in development. Now let's get a sneak peek at four games in development for PlayStation VR 2. Dang. That was one of the most polished, one of the best, one of the now, most fun games let's take a look at him. ever at that point in time. And it has still held wow. up extremely wow. well Ethan Winters. in the last you escaped my 18 or so years, you know? Did you? Let's Wonderful see how title. special you are. <laughs> yes, mother. Yes, mother. Looks great. It's fun to play. Just excellent. So bring on Resident Evil 4 Remake. That is just awesome. Good to see Resident Evil Village getting some PlayStation <laughs> VR 2 support. <laughs> to question me? You, who emerged from the putrid waters of the Bayou to plunder our righteous gains and cut our throats like a demon in the night. What have you done to ensure the future of this forsaken city? You, who have brought nothing but chaos. When death was swallowing this city hall, it was I who resurrected it. It was I who shined as a beacon of hope for all. The tower cries out for blood, and I vow to spill it. When the bells ring, the song they sing will be righteous. The Walking Dead. Welcome home. Chapter 2. Alright, coming out later this year. Cool. I've got three zombie games in a row. Resident Evil 4, though. That's got me the most right. Man's Sky, but just now with PSVR 2 on PS5. There. Horizon for Ben West. And it's Where are you taking me? PSVR 2 content. I asked you a it's question. Separate unique story. Everyone says Reyes is a good shot. Yeah, and it'll put arrows through both of us. You're switching with me. It's a snap mall. We're not gonna make it! I like to have something done about just floating Raymond hands. Blameless Marad had me released from prison. But why? Redemption is still possible, Reyes. I think the further Climb back the mountain. games come along in the VR landscape. Find out why we'll get the better, machines better, are attacking. More and more at first. But. I'm about to 
literally the biggest fan of our floating cars. I'd rather have, you know, that side of my arm moving up and pulling that that arrow or wielding that sword. Do that, and you shall be a free man. It will take all your wits, your skills, and courage. You have walked in the shadows, Reyes. Horizon for Now it is time to climb into the light. I wonder if we'll get. Hi, I'm Ben McCaw, narrative director at Real Estate. I hope you enjoyed your first look at Horizon Call of the Mountain, coming exclusively to PlayStation VR 2. We're also happy to announce that a big update to Horizon Forbidden West, including New Game Plus, will be available to download on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 today. Details on this update free my, update, please check update. out PlayStation Blog. Update my From all of us at Gorilla, thank you for your continued support, and please stay tuned for more updates to come. Get ready, a PlayStation fan favorite is coming to PC. You know, the PlayStation games, these past few years, sacrificing so much and Asking for nothing. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. Do you really need two of those? You want everything that's wrong with this city! I'm gonna go, uh... Do your thing. Do your thing. You can't just push people around like that. Just ask for help next time. Time to bring back the glory days. Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh, and Miles Morales. I'm really looking forward to Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine. Oh, this is the kitty game. When they first showed this off, the name slips me in the moment. I was like, this is my jam. I love cats. And the stealthy aspect of this, and just kind of the fun, unique you know, quality of being a cat. It totally seems fun. Looks pretty fun. I'll check this out. Good kitty. Stray. That's what it was. July 19th. Okay, that's coming out pretty soon. Next month. Explore a mysterious cyber city in Stray. Coming to PS5 and PS4 July 19th. PlayStation Plus Extra members and higher can download Stray at no extra cost when it launches next month. There you go. Up next, three games that will get your heart racing. Mm, bring back like Jet Moto.
It's a good event so far. Started things off pretty strong. Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the Dead Moon? Dead. This is dead space. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance at rebirth. every time. Pretty brutal. It's not that space. The Callisto Protocol. Coming this December. Okay. Looks pretty good. next year not bad we've got like 12 minutes or so left so action games and dating sims collide in Eternites coming to ps5 and ps4 next year let's check back in with Capcom for a new look at an upcoming heavy hitter oh my gosh it's Street Fighter 6 time 
Capcom heavy hitter, please. Yes. Metro City. Yes, this is it. This is the moment. Oh, I can't wait. We've got Hugo. Dang, Capcom logo. Looking cool. When you go looking for strength, Luke, it's best. not like a game. This journey doesn't have a real ending. Okay then, are you ready to begin? Oh my gosh. If you want to start off on the right foot in this city, hit the streets. Yeah, hey there I do it. Never feel loose. And when I get up in the game, you will be improved. A real crowd of what I saw. I'm getting goosebumps. Got you my tiger up there. Wrong, then you told me fool. Yeah, y'all wanna win, let me spin, boy. I done some side of super fly like I'm hanging off the rim, boy. I've been winning for my kids. Sure you can. And I put on for my city from the intro. Got an action adventure game. Fight. Ooh. And one tiny glimpse of oh wow chili yeah there's Ryu dude oh awesome wow Dang, this isn't what I wanted today. The top player is here. Let me have some fun. Ready? Hey, show me. This will be a good fight. Are you in some lead? Yeah, here we go. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy right now. That's cool. That looks cool. Dang, he had a different stance. Ryu was a little more vertical for that. He got the ink splashes back, but a little bit different. Yeah. Street Fighter 6, baby. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Any kind of window? Oh, I love that sound. Your moment. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. Coming 2023. Oh, dang. Goosebumps. Chills. That was your first look at Street Fighter 6 gameplay. Mark your calendars, it comes to PS5 and PS4 in 2023. Now it's time for two indie adventures arriving later this year. Okay, Street Fighter 6. Whew, I gotta say, that's what I wanted the most today, and I am so excited for it. It, do, it did look good, but I, I had a moment in it when I was like, this doesn't look as good as I think it could be. And the interesting thing is, of course, it said PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, which if they made it with the intention of running on, presumably, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 as well, that could potentially hold back the size and scope and how big and how far they could push PlayStation 5 and theoretically the Xbox Series S and X versions, right? Um, as opposed to making it just for these ninth gen consoles. Uh, but the game is still a year or so out. I'm sure that, that they used the best footage that they could, the most up-to-date footage, probably as she of a couple months ago, in that demo the of, this season. of the PlayStation 5 version. To but make even it real that will get better looking. Future. So in she some moments, it about looked living together. really good quality visuals. And we some, asked her I was like, about this is a little alone. bit better than PS. Uh, it was Street Fighter V, so... When the season turns, I guess that's kind of why it sort of explains itself. It's coming out on Only PS4 and PS5. It will be interesting to see what if she this captured. one makes it to Xbox One, Xbox Series, and... She Nintendo carries Netflix. the sounds of the season with her. 
because there isn't a reason why Street Fighter V couldn't run on other consoles. It's just that Sony funded it, which is why it wasn't PlayStation 4 exclusive. The way and then, she listened you know, of course, made you want to tell her played everything. on PS5. Now it did come to PC, but I got to look in her journal. It was just for PS4. The world was telling though, her its secrets. That was cool. I think she even figured out what will happen to us. That whole when open the world ends. running around element is neat, and I do have something going? that once this is over, I'm going to share some expanded thoughts on that. Not yet. Wow. I got what I wanted. Cool. Very cool.世界 ゲームというエンターテイメントを通じてゲーマーの皆さんが心の底から楽しめる時間を提供していきたいと思ってますそれでは最新のトレーラーをどうぞ。Okay. Dang. We got Street Fighter, Resident Evil 4 Remake and Final Fantasy 6 all in one state of play with more to come. It's like 5 minutes left. Who are we? What are the dominance? The power we wield, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Every day. Delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. I unite the dominance. That we may bring an end to the strife. Very action heavy. Found a new order to see us onto tomorrow. Fast, if I take the field, our duel will shake the island to its foundations. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. It's from the comet looking better than ever. Final Fantasy 16 release date, release month. Still good for 2022. Awaken, child of fate. Awaken, if free. Summer 2023 officially. Okay. Take your time. It's all good. Wow. 2023. And that's a wrap. That's it. Don't forget to visit PlayStation Yay. Blog to learn even more about today's announcements. See you next time. 2023 with the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Final Fantasy 16, and Street Fighter 6 already in there. And potentially Metroid Prime 4 if that comes out next year. Wow.
Starfield as well. Like, okay, 2023, 2022 has been a great year for gaming so far, and we're not even a full six months in, done. You know, we just barely started June, but 2023 is already uh, looking pretty solid. Okay, that was exciting. <sighs> wow. I said that I had some more to say on Street Fighter VI in particular, that open world segment. So this is kind of fun. Um, way back in some of the earlier days of E3, I pitched to Capcom this idea of having an action-adventure Street Fighter game. I was really a big fan of Street Fighter II, the animated movie, and I just thought how terrific would it be to have a Street Fighter Origins game that took you through the story of Street Fighter. And you could play as Ryu and Ken, and it would be, you know, in Japan, in Master Goken's dojo, traveling through the nature parts of the world, you know, going through the woods, fetching water, uh, doing these different tasks for Goken. You would have these gameplay segments that were combat driven, and then just other gameplay elements that were more action adventure driven. And what I mean by that is a little bit of a mix up in the actual controls, the gameplay combat. You know, if you were competing against one another, Ryu and Ken, it would be side to side, perhaps in a typical Street Fighter view. But as you're venturing out and going into the city and experiencing what is the rest of the outside world of Japan like, you know, potentially uh, fighting bad guys, thugs in the streets, then it would be more of this, not to say fully open world, but a, a combat of a third person perspective, action adventure type of combat game, right? And it would take you basically through the events and you'd have underground fights and stuff like that and visit you know, different neighboring countries until you get through the Street Fighter tournament and you'd have to you know, separate Ken and Ryu's story from that point on and go and fight Sagat and stuff like that. So this was a pitch that I had to Capcom back in the day and it was considered, which is pretty awesome. And not to say that this is that necessarily, but this does have some elements of it. I actually picked a good spot. When we look at this, when I saw this just a few minutes ago, and I saw a certain character walking around, going through when you go looking the for streets, strength, I thought it's not, not like a game. I know exactly this journey where doesn't have a real ending. In a conversation that I had. Okay then, hope you're ready to begin. If you want to start off on the right foot in this city, hit the streets. Yeah, hey there, I do this. Never fear loose. And when I get up in the game, you're up here and prove. A real problem, but I solve them on Facebook. And if you think I'm going to fall, then you talk your fool. Yeah, y'all want to win, let me spin, boy. I dunk the side, I'm super fly, yep. like I'm hanging off the rim, boy. I've been winning for my kin folk. And I put on for my city from the intro. Fight! So that right there could be, you know, your own character that you made. We don't see the face in it, so it could be someone from Street Fighter lore in a hoodie. Or it could be from the ground up, you, right? So now at this point, we're just walking over again. <laughs> Show me. Okay, it looks really cool. It looks good. And it does look better than Street Fighter 5. It just in some moments I'm like a little bit better. In some moments in some of the closer up shots, more stylized and all that, there's a lot more texture of fighting. See that one there. That was what I was talking about earlier. That right there was a very different frame of animation. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, 
okay. Yeah, he's releasing a Hadoken from not quite a full front stance perspective. He's got his weight distribution somewhat in the middle, not all the way forward. It's not charged back in a back stance. He's releasing it right there. Yeah, and he doesn't go forward all the way. This leg right here is not uh, stretched out and his body is not here, it's back here. So that's like a quick recovery Hadoken. That's kind of cool. Interesting, different. Later on in the video, we do see that he had, well, it's not that far. We do see that, oh, we could just play it. That he had a more traditional Hadoken. Okay, ah, I think it was right there. Let's see if we could get that. Just to clarify that he does indeed have fireballs of a regular stance. Okay, legs more straight. He leaned forward more to shoot it, and there you go. Cool background, nice detail. I wonder why Ryu's got his uh, abs bandaged up there. He's got this blanket on. I like Chun Li's outfit being slightly different. Something in here was where I thought, ah, kind of Street Fighter V ish in graphics quality, despite it being, you know, zoomed in and stylized. But the zoomed in and stylized look helped it prior. Here is where, I don't want to say it hurt it in a bad way, but here's where I thought, hmm. A little bit downgraded graphics however I did like the ink splashes reminiscent of Street Fighter 4. Yeah, the polygon model earlier is not as good. But then it goes back to being more solid. Pretty rad. I think I'm going to go in here, and let's see, anything else? Online multiplayer requires a PlayStation Plus membership, etc. Access Game Center from here. So you'll be walking around in the hub, presumably, in a 3D open manner, and then traveling throughout the world in different countries. Underground fights and tournaments. Yeah, it's... Uh, not to say exactly like how I envisioned and pitched it to Capcom back in the day, but pretty darn close. Like, I knew exactly what they were going for when I saw it because, you know, even though the scenes weren't identical to what we discussed and laid out, that is base, basically it, basically it. Pretty cool. They also tweaked up the logo a bit. It's a little bit more... Uh, GameCube like in a way, you know, the letter G and the letter 6 are kind of similar. Street Fighter 6 is very different, you know, this is uh, not a, a VI, you know, this is a typical number 6. Kind of wish, honestly, it was a PlayStation 5 Xbox Series console exclusive, you know, and Nintendo Switch 2 for that matter, potentially, and PC, and not you know, on the base like PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, lower end PCs, because I want the game to, well, I want it to do well. So it's a little bit of a conflict because in order to do really well, you want to be on as many platforms as possible, but I also want it to be this powerful next gen like experience, you know? Um, and if it does exist, on Nintendo Switch, PS4, which it does, and Xbox One, which we'll see, and lower end PCs, uh, it's potentially held back slightly from as big of a vision as they could have. But then again, the game's coming out a year from now. It could be like a July 2023 or a November 2023 release. So it's got, you know, 13 to 16 plus months more of development time. This build was probably from like February, if I had a guess, March, something along those lines. So chances are the game is going to look a lot better between now and when it releases. But I'm stoked. 
I hope that it is multi-platform, but I will definitely be picking this one up day one on PlayStation 5. All right, those are my extended thoughts. Overall, this was a terrific state of play. Thank you so much for watching. This is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com. Sign Sorry, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com signing out. Got tongue-tied there for a bit. Hope you all have a good one. I'll see you next time. Be sure to drop some comments in the comment section below, whether you're watching on YouTube or on Paul Gale Network. I appreciate it, and I look forward to um, responding back. All right.